guys, it's Matt here. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I want to give you some music lessons that I hope can help improve your playing and kind of take you to that next level with guitar. If you've watched any with guitar and actually piano, if you watch my other videos, you know I like to keep things really simple. And most of the things that I teach in my other videos and the song tutorials is how you can use four basic chords, G, C, E minor, and D, that simple way of playing them, and play many songs that you hear in church, on the radio, and, and um, country songs, all kinds of things. What I want to teach you today is a little more music theory. Now, I kind of pride myself in not teaching music theory and keeping things simple, but what I'm learning is you need to know kind of the basics and the skeleton of how music works in order to uh, kind of see a bigger picture, so to speak, and take yourself to the next level. So what I want to go over today using, believe it or not, the Xbox. I found this. I'm actually in my office recording this video today. Um, I'm going to use the this Xbox keyboard as well as guitar and the whiteboard to just go over how to find each note on the piano or guitar. Now, for, if you're advanced, this is going to be simple. Of course, I knew that. How are you just now teaching this after 400 videos? But if you're new to guitar or piano, this might really help you and show you something that you didn't know. So hopefully this can help out. First of all, there are just 12 notes on a keyboard or a guitar. So if, I like to teach everything based on the piano because it can... Sometimes where the keys are really structured and black, literally black and white, um, it's easier to kind of understand and kind of put your mind around. So if you find, if you have a piano or keyboard, find the two keys and go to the left, that is the C note. And you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's the 12 notes. Then it repeats another octave. All the way up to C to C. So... Let's go over the notes real fast just on the piano. This is something that's very basic, but you need to memorize. You have a C. Each time you move from left to right, it's going to be moving a half a step. So C, a half a step over, the next key would be a black one. If you're going left to right, that would be a C sharp. So a half a step up is C sharp. The next one is a D. Now based on which way you're going in the music scale is if you're going a half a step up it's a C sharp. If you're going a half a step down from a D it's a D flat. So a flat's half a step down, a sharp is half a step up. We'll go over that stuff later but it's important to know. For this, for video purposes, Let's just say I'm going to count every. I'm going to go left to right and do everything in a sharp. C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, then an F. Even though you're going to have a step over, there is no D, uh, E sharp or, or F flat. So E to F, F sharp, G, G sharp, then A, A sharp, B, then you're back to C start back over again. If you're going obviously right to left, you'd be looking at here's a C, B, B flat, A, A flat, G, G flat, F, E, E flat, D, D flat, C. So just so you get a good picture on the uh, piano, um, this is the, the 12 notes that make up the whole piano. There's different octaves so if you're playing higher or lower on the piano or keyboard, you're playing a different octave. But that's a really good thing to know and just memorize. Know all 12 notes, the flat, including the flats. And know each, each next note is a half a step. Now let's move over to the guitar. Um, first thing you need to know are the string names with a guitar. Usually if somebody says the first string, they start at the bottom, then they're going up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth. Okay. For the string names, let's start from the top and go down. E A D G B E. I'm gonna tell you how to remember that. Eddie eight dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. So I'm gonna write that down on the board. That's what the guy, my music teacher, taught me 
10 years ago, whatever, E A D G B D. So, remember, Eddie ate dynamite good by I guess that's one word anyway. Um, oh, I put a D. Sorry about that. It's E. E here. It's a high E. Goodbye, Eddie. So, sixth string, fifth string, fourth string, third string, second string, first string. Eddie ate dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. So, you need to know that just for the bass. E A D G B E. So, just like this keyboard, each fret is going up a half a step. You'll notice on the third fret there's a dot, the fifth fret, the seventh fret, the ninth fret, on the twelfth fret, that's the two dots. That means you're pretty much starting over. You're in a different octave. So just like on the piano you've got the twelve keys, this is your twelve keys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so here's how you find each specific note with the guitar. The top note playing an open means you're not playing, not pressing any strings. Open is an E. Half a step up, what would that be? So you're going to E, half a step up is, picture it like on a keyboard, is an F. So when I press the first fret top string, that's an F. Half a step up, F sharp. Half a step up is a G. Half a step up, G sharp, A, A sharp, B, B sharp, and C. So there's you know there's your notes as you're going up. The next note, for example, we know open is an A. So we're starting, if you can get a look at this keyboard, open is this note right here, an A note. Half a step over, this black key is an A sharp. So, of course, we go from there. A, first fret, A sharp. Next one, half a step up, B, B sharp. Then you got C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E. Remember the next one, there is no E sharp. E to F, F sharp, and so forth. So, then you go to the next string. You'll get the point. Now you got a D. A D is open. Playing the, the fourth string, remember, one, two, three, four. Fourth string is a D string. D, then you're going to go, the first fret is, here's a D. The first fret over is a D sharp. Then it's going to be a, an E. Then an F. Then an, an F sharp. And so forth. So, on this string, you go. D, half a step up, D sharp. Um, then you got an E, an F, F sharp, G. Okay, so that explains some music theory for you. Why am I teaching you that? Because when you see in the big picture, when you know the string names, it's going to help you kind of do a little fancier things, for example, um, say you want to go Splendor of the King Golden Map. So say you want to walk down on a chord. Instead of just playing your chords, it helps you. Splendor of teach you more to hear music, to hear specific notes, instead of just playing that melody. Um, it'll help you, help you hear specific notes to know how to walk in and out, and I'll go over that more in lessons later. But I just wanted to explain to you how to find specific notes in this video. Also give you guys an update. Things are about to really, really, really change with this channel. I've been talking with my wife, doing a lot of brainstorming, and we're about to take this whole YouTube thing from here up to here and it's going to be great we're going to do new videos each wednesday again this is still a process in the making but 
better video equipment, better video editing, better camera views, um, a lot more staging. We're going to work with branding companies. We're going to get churches involved, guest players. It, it's just, We've got a lot of ideas that God's really been kind of putting on mine and my wife's heart that, that take this thing that started out just something to help people and really turn it into a ministry. So please be praying for that. Um, you guys have given me such good encouragement. It's helped me get more confidence and helped me just see that maybe God wants to use me through this way to... Um, really go out throughout really all the world and teach people basic, simple things they can use with a piano and guitar to just praise God, because that's what it's all about, um, praising God and using the things of this earth, the His creation, it's not ours, we're just stewards, His creation to take back and give Him praise. That's what our lives, our jobs, our health, our body, our marriages, our relationships, our finances, everything. We're to use those things, our resources, God's blessed us with, to give back to Him. Please subscribe if you haven't. Again, new videos now at 7 a.m. every Wednesday. I'm going to start keeping steady with it. Uh, like, like the Facebook page if you haven't. Uh, there's a link on the homepage that you can click on to click like. I do scripture updates, kind of guitar tricks, different things on there. So, if you've got any questions, shoot me a message. Thanks again so much for the encouragement, guys. You are the best. Remember this, 88 Dynamite. Goodbye, Eddie. God bless you.